All right. And we're excited to continue our series with the Ethereal Hackathon sponsors. We're here with Eric from Pegasus. Um, and Eric's going to walk us through a little bit about Pegasus and Pantheon uh, before getting into the specific prizes that they have up on the Ethereal Hackathon. So, Eric, I'll let you take it away. Hi, uh, I'm Eric Kelstrand here representing Pegasus. Uh, I'm a blockchain engineer and product owner uh, for the Pegasus product development teams. Uh, Let's dive in. What, give you a little background. What is Pegasus and what is Pantheon? Pantheon is our main net um, and enterprise grade uh, Ethereum client. It's Java based, it's Apache 2 licensed, um, which is unique among all the clients out there, as you know. So, our mission is to really bring the enterprises uh, in that Java community that exists and is just vast. To Ethereum and vice versa. We need to bring Ethereum and blockchain into the enterprises and show them the right way to do things um, and keep things all pinned back to sort of mainnet and mainnet culture and mainnet values. Awesome. Yeah, we're really excited about Pantheon and the new avenues it brings to the Ethereum community to enter what is an awesome ecosystem, which is the Java ecosystem. We have a lot of Gitcoin developers that are uh, well-versed um, in, in that community and perhaps could participate in this bounty. So would you mind walking us through the GraphQL implementation? Sure. Um, so our bounty is around adding some features to Pantheon to support uh, this E1767, uh, which is to support GraphQL, which is um, exposing a interface and schema out so that um, standard GraphQL tools can access the blockchain in a more effective and user-friendly manner. Uh, there's a couple of big wins for this. Uh, you can read through it more on the EAP, but uh, in terms of performance, uh, because using the GraphQL interface and schema, you can bypass a whole bunch of calls um, and just get to the data that you want to do um, analytics, for example. Um, much easier than, than using JSON RPC um, or some of the existing web calls. Um, so specifically, what do we want to see? We'd love to see the demonstration of GraphQL, a GraphQL tool using the schema defined in the EAP against Pantheon. Big fancy words for do a demo of being able to implement basically these RPC calls in Pantheon. Um, there's a lot of existing calls there. Um, so there's a lot of prior art to pick from and see what's going on. Um, once those are there or some subset, um, if this ends up being too big, uh, we're open to breaking it up into multiple ongoing uh, bounties. So uh, don't worry about it. If it feels too big for you and you get part way through, that's fine. We'll just prorate it by the number of um, methods you get through. Uh, we are absolutely prioritizing quality over quantity. So like I said, we're happy to extend it. Awesome. Awesome. That's great to hear. And for those who are considering this, uh, you can find the Pegasus folks in the Pegasus channel uh, under the sponsor section of the Discord. Um, and Eric has mentioned in the note that um, they would appreciate a note on the GitHub thread if you end up working on it so that you can uh, stay in contact with the team as you're going about the process of implementing the EIP. Yeah, please reach out to us. Um, we're on Discord. Uh, even if you just want to come say hi and get to know us and, and maybe look at um, any other future work that we're working on if you want to get involved. That'd be awesome. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Eric. Really appreciate it. Um, and we're excited to have you and the hackers involved for, for this very worthy prize. Um, so looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. All right. Thank you.